Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk through practice problem SE01. So this is the first in my series of stockholders equity practice problems. Um, this one is going to test your conceptual knowledge on common stock versus preferred stock, as well as your journal entry knowledge with stock issuance. So let's get right to it. First up, types of stock. Um, which of the following are differences between common and preferred stock? Um, take a moment, pause the video, see if you can identify those differences, come back when you're ready, and I will walk through the solution. All right, welcome back. Let's check it out. Which of the following are differences between common and preferred stock? A, common stock has priority to residual asset claims if the company liquidates. It does not. Common stock is the bottom of the totem pole in terms of uh, claims to residual value. So they do have a claim but it's not a priority claim. They're at the bottom of the barrel. Priority stock is slightly, uh, priority stock, preferred stock is slightly more prior priority. They're, they're one notch above the common stockholders. Um, B, preferred stock has a fixed dividend payout. That is absolutely true. Preferred stock behaves like debt in that way. Um, debt has a fixed interest payout. Preferred stock, it's not interest because it's ownership, but it has a fixed uh, dividend payout. C, Preferred stock receives dividends only if the common stock has received dividends. Nope, preferred stock has priority to dividends, and so it could be the case that preferred shareholders get a dividend and common shareholders do not. Um, uh, but the other way around would, would be pretty unusual. Um, D, common stock is more likely to have voting rights. Yes, that is true. Preferred stock could have voting rights, but more often than not, the voting rights is something that you sacrifice for that kind of fixed dividend debt type arrangement that comes with preferred stock. So B and D are the correct answers to this one. All right, next up, accounting for the issuance of stock. Um, Flyer Corps was incorporated on April 17th, at which time half a million shares of $4 par value common stock and 200,000 shares of $10 par value 8% cumulative preferred stock were authorized. Whew, that's a mouthful, right? Don't try to absorb it all right away. Come back and get the numbers as you need them. Um, the key here is on April 20th, Flyer Corps issued 100,000 shares of common stock. And on April 22nd, they issued 20,000 shares of preferred stock. Record the journal entries for the issuance. And of course, now you'll need all those details that I kind of skimmed over quickly. So uh, take a moment, pause the video, see if you can remember stock issuance journal entries. Come back when you're ready, and I'll walk through the solution. All right, welcome back. Here we go. Um, so only two dates to worry about here. Remember, the first date, um, April 17th, that was the incorporation date of Flyer Corps. That's when the half a million shares and the 200,000 shares were authorized. But authorized is not economic activity. That's just a decision that's made. It's not till issuance that you have economic activity. So our first journal entry is going to occur on April 20th. And our second journal entry is going to occur on April 22nd. Those are the two different issue dates. The first date, April 20th, Flyer Corps issues 100,000 shares of common stock for $6 per share. So you've got 100,000 shares times $6 per share, that's $600,000. You're receiving that in cash, so debit cash, 600,000. And of course, why are you receiving it? Well, because you're issuing common stock. But here's where you have to be careful because it's very easy to fall into a trap where at this point you say you're issuing common stock and that stock is worth $600,000 and you call it quits. But that stock's not worth $600,000 and so you have to be careful about that. Um, remember, stock can only be accounted for at its par value, at its, at its face value. And so here it told us that the um, common stock had a $4 um, par, par value. And so when we think about this $600,000, $4 per share is going to go to common stock. $2 per share is going to go to additional paid in capital, right? In excess of par value. And so in terms of $4 per share, $2 per share, 100,000 shares, what that really means is common stock gets credited for 400,000 or 100,000 times $4 per share. And then 
additional paid in capital, common stock is going to get credited for $200,000 or the additional $2 above face value that investors were willing to give you for the stock. All right, so that's the common. Let's look at the preferred, April 22nd. Flyercore issued 20,000 shares for $800,000. Now, in this case, it just gave you the amount, $800,000. So, debit cash, 800,000. Why? Well, because you issued preferred stock. Now, once again, though, you can't simply just say preferred stock 800,000. You have to see what was the par value on that preferred stock. And it tells us that the par value was $10. And so um, we've got 20,000 shares with a par value of 10 per share. So that's $200,000 is the par value of the preferred stock. So that's what we credit. And then any excess you got on top of that, which in this case is 600,000, goes to the additional paid in capital preferred stock. And that's it for issuance. Notice there was a lot of unnecessary information here, like how many shares were authorized. Doesn't matter. Just matters what we issued. Um, the 8% cumulative dividend on the preferred stock. Well, it's not a dividend question, so you don't need the dividend information. The rest of the numbers did come into play. You just have to make sure you're pulling the right information. And remember that you can't just dump the full value into the stock unless what you received for that stock was equal to par value, in which case then, then the two numbers would be the same. All right, that's it for the first shareholders equity practice problem. There's more to come. So um, I hope this one was helpful. Hope you join me for the next one. Hope you have a great day.